This is Arlo's $130 standalone spotlight camera. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Arlo released their essential camera and this is only $130. I say only because Arlo is notorious for releasing overpriced cameras. Once in a while, they will release a product that is justifiably affordable like their video doorbell. And today, we will see if this 1080p spotlight camera is worth it. We will do the unboxing, check out its features, set it up, check out the settings, do the install, and check out its video and audio quality and run some tests and see if this standalone, no need for home base, Wi-Fi camera from Arlo will find its way to your home. Let's check out its features. This camera records at 1080p resolution and has a 130 degree diagonal field of view and it records at 24 frames per second. It has night vision of up to 25 feet with dual 850 nanometers infrared LEDs. It has 12 times digital zoom. It has two-way talk. It has PIR motion detection of only up to 23 feet. You can get email alerts and push notifications. And it has an operating temperature of negative 4 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a built-in siren which can be activated manually or when it detects motion. It has a built-in rechargeable battery that is not removable or replaceable. So you have to charge it with a micro USB cable or it can be connected to a solar panel. Please note that it doesn't use the magnetic charging system like the Ultras or the Pro 3s. Lastly, one thing unique about this Essential Series camera when compared to the Arlo Pro 2s, 3s, and the Ultras, aside from the Arlo 3 floodlight, is that this camera can be connected directly to your Wi-Fi and doesn't need and rely on a home base. But you have an option to connect to one if you need to, if you want to use local recording or to back up your footage which means you can use this as an add-on camera if you already have the system. And for the price, it's only $5 more than an add-on Pro 2 camera. And you get the built-in camera siren and the spotlight, which the Pro 2 doesn't have. Time to do the unboxing. This is the Essential Spotlight Camera, 1080p Full HD, weather resistant, two-way audio, color night vision, and has an integrated spotlight. Also, just like with the newer camera releases from Arlo, you will need to be subscribed to the Arlo Smart Plan if you want advanced AI detection, E911, activity zones, rich notifications, and cloud storage for 30 days. You have an option for local recording when paired with a base station, but will not get AI, no activity zones, and no rich notifications. Arlo Smart Plan starts at $2.99 per month per camera or $9.99 per month for up to 5 cameras. What is inside the box? We have the camera itself, front and center. We have the spotlight, camera lens, light sensor, mic, and infrared LEDs in the front. We have the PIR sensor here in the bottom. And we also have the speaker. We have the Arlo branding on both sides of the camera. On the bottom, we have the setup button and also a rubber flap that covers the micro USB port for charging. At the back, we have the quarter 20 thread to mount the camera. What else is inside the box? We have the screw-in, adjustable mount, mounting screws, and plastic anchors, and we have a short micro USB cable to charge the camera, and a setup guide. Time to set this up. Download, sign up, and log in to the Arlo app. Click Add New Device. Choose Cameras. Click on Essential. You can set this up using a base station if you already have one, and Arlo does recommend it. But with this setup, I'll set it up directly to my Wi-Fi which you will get a prompt stating that you will get better bandwidth and access to video stored to local storage if paired with a smart hub. I'll click continue. Directly connecting to Wi-Fi, it uses 2.4 GHz and make sure your phone is connected to it before clicking continue. Type in your Wi-Fi's password and click continue. Press and hold the sync button for 1 to 2 seconds and click continue. Your phone will generate a QR code that you need to show to the camera. Wait until your camera is found. Name your camera, which I'll name mine Arlo Essential. Update the firmware if needed. Time to check out the live view. It will have the usual 5 to 8 seconds delay. And yup, it works. Also to show you that the Arlo app and it is not their cameras because with HomeKit, the Arlos loads up quick. 
there is a significant lag on the Arlo app. I'm really hoping Arlo will fix this. Let's do a quick overview of the settings in the app. On the main app page, you will see the last screenshot of the camera. Clicking it will get to live view, which takes some time to load up, even when I'm on the same network as the camera. Click the speaker to mute the camera. We have the mic to start two-way audio, which is full duplex. Then you can record the current live view, and this will be saved in your Arlo's library. We have the camera to take a snapshot. Then we have the spotlight control. Turn it on or off and you can change the light intensity. You can click expand to view the footage in landscape mode. Click the red alarm icon to call E911, call a friend or activate the siren. Click on the gear icon in the lower right corner to get to the camera settings. You can turn on or off the camera, battery life, Wi-Fi information, time zones, flicker adjustment, camera LED, device info, and device utilities. And we have video settings where you can adjust the brightness, rotate the image 180 degrees, low light settings where you can turn on or off the spotlight, camera to record in full color at night, behavior if you want the spotlight to be constantly on, flash or pulsate, spotlight brightness, and also toggle night vision on or off. We have the activity zones. If you are subscribed to their smart plan, you can add up to five zones. On the bottom of the main app page, we have the library where your recorded footage is stored and this will be on Arlo's cloud. And we have the mode, in which you can set the camera to armed, disarmed, schedule the arming, and use geofencing. You can edit the armed mode where you can set the rules on how the camera will record and notify you, and an option to turn on the siren when it detects motion. Time to do the install, which is pretty easy. Just screw in the included screw and mount. Screw in the camera and adjust the position, and tighten the thumb screw to lock the position in place. Time to do some testing, but before that, I'm going to shout out my son's new channel. And this is a fitness channel. And I'll be on it too because I do need to exercise. But I'll be doing modified workouts. So no excuse guys, these are follow along workouts. So please visit his channel and give it some love and don't forget to subscribe. And this is where today's giveaway is about. First to comment below how many rest breaks we have total in seconds on both exercise videos. We'll win a $25 Amazon E gift card. One user, one guess, no multiple guesses, and no editing of comment. Good luck. So this is the video and audio quality of Arlo's Essential Camera. So this is the video clarity test for the Arlo Essential camera and this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So this is the video quality of the Arlo Essential camera and just with its spotlight on and this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. So this is the video quality of the Arlo Essential camera and this with the spotlights on and all my lights are on. And this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. So this is the video quality of the Arlo Essential camera and this with its two infrared LEDs on. And this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 
So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Arlo Essential camera. And I'm on my LTE connection and it is 426. So let's check it out. And there's a little bit of delay. There you go. I got a notification and when you press and hold, you will see a thumbnail with, the, with me uh, highlighted and you can have mute the notifications or activate the siren and that little play button, when you click on it, it will go to live view, which has a delay also. Okay, unable to play camera, open the app and try playing it from the app. So we are going to test the uh, cool off uh, period of the Arlo Essential camera. And as you can see here, it's 428. At 427, I had an alert when I was uh, getting out of frame. And also when I was there, 426, 427, it's 428. So let's see if we are going to get an alert. It's usually there's an, uh, the cool off is less than a minute. There you go. So I got an alert again. So the cool off is less than a minute. So we are going to test the maximum detection distance of the Arlo Essential camera. And uh, Arlo stated that it can detect up to 23 feet. I'm pretty sure my Arlo Pro 2, my Arlo Ultra, and also my Arlo Pro 3s can detect more than or around 30 feet. So I got, uh, I changed the sensitivity. I'm gonna change that to 100. Click save. There you go. And let's check it out. I'm gonna go wide. We're gonna try 30 feet first and see. Thirty feet. Oh, there you go. I got detected at thirty feet. We can hold. So you can see right there. I just I can't get this play live view button to work. This is the audio quality coming out from the Arlo Essential Camera. Show me Arlo Essential Camera. Okay. Stream Arlo Essential Camera in Google Hub. Got it. Streaming Arlo Essential on Google Hub. I have mentioned this before, and when compared to all the Wi-Fi cameras that I've tested, the Arlo app is the slowest slowest in loading up live view and also has long latency. And this is not because of the camera, this is because of the Arlo's app. I think anything you do on the app goes to a server before going to the camera and that is why there is a delay. Same thing with their motion alert notification. There is a delay because with their smart alerts, it has to be processed online on a server to identify if the motion is from a person, animal or cars. And as always, this is a norm with Arlo. Aside from the app being slow, there is always some type of a software bug. During testing, live view on the notifications didn't work. Arlo will eventually fix it when customer starts complaining. Video and audio quality is pretty decent though, and I like the 24 frames per second, which overall has a smoother footage. 
So what do you think guys? Any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to share and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell icon so as to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.